Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I am sharing my November paycheck number one budget, which is from October the 27th through November the 9th. I am using the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck workbook and I went ahead and wrote down my categories to save a little bit of time. So just a few things about me. If you're new here, I am in my late 40s. I'll be 49 in December. I live in the central Arkansas area and I am completely consumer debt free. I am currently renting a home and my current savings goal is to max out my IRA every single year and also to put every extra penny into savings so that I can uh, purchase a home in the next two to three years. Um, so that is a little bit about me and um, like I said, I went ahead and wrote down my categories to save a little bit of time. Before we jump into the video, let me take a moment to introduce you to today's sponsor. Thank you to today's sponsor, Drawerly. Drawerly is an online retailer that specializes in custom apparel, home goods, and jewelry. I have been lucky enough to be sponsored by them a few times. I've shared all sorts of products with you. Um, I've shared bracelets and rings and necklaces and these next few items that I received this time did also not disappoint. I just absolutely love them. Um, so I selected this blanket and I selected it in gray and just to see how easy it is to utilize their site. I'm going to put in Bella, which is my mom and dad's uh, dog's name. I'm going to click on upload and choose file and I'm going to select the file and then you can move it around um, and center it the way that you'd like. Hit confirm and then select your blanket size. I um, selected 150 by 200 centimeters and add to cart and it is just that easy. The first item that I have here is the blanket. This is my mom and dad's dog. Then I have a keychain here with a leather upper, silver round uh, embellishment with the name Thompson. And last is this t-shirt. Thanks again to Drawerly for sponsoring today's video. Links to all of the products shown will be in the description box below as well as discount codes. Thanks again to Drawerly for sponsoring today's video. I really hope you guys will check them out. Okay, um, so we're going to start up here at the top of the workbook. So this um, top box is for income. Now I have a full time job and I am paid $1,500 every other week. So I'm paid bi weekly. So my total income is $1,500. I added a line for miscellaneous in case I had anything come in that I wasn't expecting. Uh, but we're gonna put zero there because I don't expect anything, which means my total income is $1,500. Then moving on to my fixed expenses. I only have one fixed expense for the next two weeks, and that is for the cleaning ladies to come on November the 1st, and I will pay them $100. So I was um, putting aside half of my bills, but um, I'm not gonna do that anymore because it really became very confusing to close out my budget. So. Um, I'm only going to be budgeting fixed expenses that are going to occur between uh, the, the paycheck dates. Okay, so my fixed expenses total is $100. And taking my income of $1,500 minus $100 is $1,400. 
then moving on to my variable expenses. The first is food. Oh, before I do that, let me put my leftover amount here, which is 1400. Okay, so food, I have budgeted $100. And this is just for me. Then I have household expenses. I'm gonna budget 20. I think, I don't know that I need anything, but I wanna have a little bit budgeted just in case. Kittens, I'm actually not gonna budget anything for them. They have plenty of food and plenty of litter. Gas for my car, I'm budgeting 40, because I do plan on visiting the grandbabies, and it's a two hour round trip drive, and it does, um, does use a lot of gas. Medical is 15. I have three prescriptions every month and the total is $15. And then I added a personal spending category and I'm gonna give myself $50 to spend. Um, I realize that um, I really do need a spending category and a lot of you guys had suggested that I have one that way I can just spend money on whatever I want and not have to feel guilty about um, busting the budget. So $50 is what I'm going to budget. So 25 a week, not bad. Okay, so my total variable expenses is $225. So the leftover amount that I still have to budget is $11.75. Moving up here to sinking funds, we're gonna carry over $11.75. And the one sinking fund that I need to contribute to is gifts, and I'm gonna put $60 towards gifts my mom's birthday is coming up and I also have a nephew with a birthday um, and I wanna be able to get um, their gifts in advance. I don't wanna wait to the last moment. Okay, so my total gifts is $60 and that leaves me with 1,115. Like I mentioned, I am debt free, so I won't be contributing anything to that extra debt bucket, but um, I will have extra savings. So I'm gonna carry this number down here. So 1115, I am maxing out my Roth IRA. So I'm gonna put $250. So I'm paid 26 paychecks per year, 26. Uh, multiplied by 250 is the maximum of 6,500. Then I have house savings and I'm gonna contribute $860 to house savings. And for rollover, that's gonna be $5. So my total extra savings is 1,100 and $15, which leaves me with zero. So this is my zero-based budget for November paycheck number one. I am really excited to be contributing to house savings. I kind of had to take a break there for a little bit um, when my pup got sick and we lost him but um, I am glad to be back on track because I really want to achieve my goal of purchasing a home in the next two to three years. Um, I am also, I feel like I may be ready uh, for another fur baby uh, to have another pup. Um, and so you, I may start a sinking fund for the um, adoption fees. I do have, um, I left my information with the local shelters so that if they get any small dogs in, 
to let me know, but, um, you know, hopefully next year, sometime before the end of next year, um, I'm hoping to add um, another fur baby into um, our family. But that is everything for this video. Again, thank you to Drawerly for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.